Hey guys. Uh, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. Something's not right here. Nope. I don't feel right, do you? Oh, I'm feeling a bit rough. I'm feeling hungry. You, you look quite hungry. This doesn't feel right. I'm, I'm looking quite awkward. Ah, oh, that feels better. That does feel better. A bit more human again. So, welcome back to the Clarity Couch. Um, we've got another review here for you today. I'm uh, sorry, this video is going up probably a wee bit later than it should have went up. So, this is the Devil Style Clone RDA. Um, we picked this up off Fast Tech for $8.83. Um, so that works out around about six fifty. Um, free shipping from Fast Tech for everything. <laughs> um, pick up the authentic on overdrive.co.uk for twenty pounds plus two ninety nine shipping. Woohoo! Um, you can also pick them up on eBay. Um, they're around about. Twenty pounds. Um, um, it comes in all sorts of different colors, which we will know. have up on the screen just before we went to the up and close. So we'll let you have a look at the different colors on it, and we will see you down on the hand view. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the contents of what you get with the Devil Style RDA. We get one of these wee screwdrivers that everybody loves to collect. Um, we have a squonk pin. So you can squonk with this RDA. Um, we have spur O-rings and spur. Um, we have spur post screws, which I have put into the RDA because I think it looks quite nice. If the camera will focus. If you hold it steady, it will focus. There we go. And there's the deck and the posts. So here you can have the wire going through just like an ordinary RDA or you can slide it in from the side. You have airflow on both sides here. Um, it is bottom airflow. Um, I know that's not everybody's thing. Um, also, you need the coils to be quite close to the posts, which to me that that's not a bad thing because I do, I do that anyway. Doesn't matter what RDA I'm using, um, that doesn't really matter to me. Um, I actually really like this RDA for the price of it and stuff like that. You no. Know, it's easy. My first impression of it was, wow, like, I really, really do like it. There is a few cons, which, which kills me to say. Um, this O-ring, um, I changed it because the top cap was far too loose. So, um, even now it's, it's still a bit loose. Get this thing on. <laughs> the reason why I changed the o-ring was because it was so easy to come off and it still is easy but it's not as bad as what it was because literally I had this on and all I had to do was that and the deck was falling off. Um, at the bottom you have a 510 connection you have a serial code and you have devil written on it. Um, also with that little 510 pin right there, that one. Yep. It's protruding, so um, it, it is safe to use on a hybrid. 
Yep. So you can put this on basically anything really. Um, so there it is. We're going to put a build into it and see how I... Um, I'm going to put a build in and show you how easy it is to build onto it. If... Okay, so this is really hard to do on camera, so... Mm. Okay, so you guys seen how easy that was to put that in there? And you have to build pretty close, as I said, to the deck. So I'm going to screw the legs down. You guys know how to do that. Okay, so I have both coils in here. And as you can see, um, the two legs are on opposite sides so there's no chance of me snipping another leg or half a coil so good doing this now it's a little hard to see while you're on camera eyes always wear protection guys no matter what you're doing hmm. your mind went straight to the gutter there didn't it always so it's not a dirty mind it's a sexy imagination get that off it wasn't too bad that time. It wasn't too bad. So there we go. Easy as that. So now I'm going to put it on my RD. Uh, no, I'm going to put it onto my device and um, see if there's any hot spots and see what she's zooming at. Okay, so here it is on my device i am currently running it on my snow wolf i will be doing a review on this very soon um so it's omen at about 0.11 so that's fine it's at 25 watts just so i can see if there's hot spots and stuff so what I like to do is pulse and scratch. I really can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Pulse. Don't forget to pinch. Pinch. This man's having a wee bit of trouble. And scratch and pinch. And if you find one's heating up more than the other guys, don't be afraid to, you know, just check those post connections. Make sure they're both just as tight as each other. Yep. Like, that one looks like it could be tightened a little bit better. It does. Mm -hmm. Kind of like ducking underneath the camera right now, guys. I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. It's okay, neither can we. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Ah. Okay. You want to make sure your coils are glowing nice and evenly, starting from the inside out. Did you say that's even? Okay, so now that they are glowing nice and evenly, and as you can see, they are quite close to the posts, but not too close. You know, I think that's that's fine for me personally. So they are glowing nice and evenly, so I'm going to whip them up and stick some juice on there, and we'll get vaping and... So now it's all nice and whipped up with. Um, so see if we can get this to focus. Turn. There we go. So I'm picking mix fizzy bubble gum bottles, which is available. Um, these 80 ml short fill bottles available on lovevaping.com. We'll have a little discount code in the description below for you. So how's it going? Um, 
Yeah, it seems to be vaping quite well. Um, I did, however, change the drip tip on this because I felt like the the wide bore was too wide and it felt like I was doing something that shouldn't be done. It's not that so, you were like married or something. Yeah, so there's the difference between the two drip tips. So oh, where am I going? There we go. So wide bore and it's, it's a lot more of a low profile <laughs> drip tip too yeah i can't get this to focus because you're so shaky but um we got this drip tip off um our friend burr babes his link to his instagram will be down below in the description box there is also um, yeah. There's another example of his amazing work. Let's see if I can get there. You go. There we go. Yeah. Green being my favorite color, I know. Yeah. She be vaping. Certainly not. Did I know? The yeah. airflow is not too bad either. Not yeah. as airy as some other RDAs that um, I would use. You would think with that bottom airflow and dripping directly onto the coil above it that it would be so leaky as well. Yeah, there's no liquid. 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 Someday Gotta I will. Gotta love some grow. liquid. Someday I will grow up to speak real words. I need Zoolander. So, as you can see. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. you can see. There is zero leakage. Or liquid. Liquid. Whatever way you want to do it. So, nope. The shine's probably just coming off with the whatever vapor's coming out the side whenever it purge it. That's about it. Woo! We both disappeared there. There we go, we're back. Never off, it's really good too. Mm -hmm. I'll go to the other end of the couch. He's gone. <laughs> this is just her getting her own back on me because I did I did daily. <laughs> I think the juice flavor could do with a wee bit more of a kick to it. I don't know. I've I've used it, this. It's a very nostalgic flavor. Like, like it, it's a good flavor, but it just needs it needs more of a kick to it. I think it's definitely got that fizzy bubble gum in it. Yeah, you can taste the bubble gum and like the sourness maybe to it, like the fizzy fizziness. Yeah, she could do with a drip. Um, it's not that sugary. Be careful. You've joined it. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's, it's safe. Don't worry, guys. He's just joined it. It's fine. But even when you get someone that overdrips like me. Still no liquid. Liquid. But it's sexy too. No liquid at all. Like Give me back my baby, bitch! <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of mixed opinion, opinions, 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 opinions. Yep, yeah, that that's a mixture between a review and an opinion. Just you know, opinion. But there's a lot of mixed opinions out there um, when it comes to authentic products and clone products. Uh, personally, we do see where. People can get angry at um, companies cloning other companies' products. They've went through all that effort to design and make those products. So, obviously, they should be getting the credit for it. Um, however, just 
uh, for the likes of ourselves, if we want to try something out, um, instead of going out and spending maybe a hundred, a hundred and thirty pound on an RDA, like, you know, a 20, 20 pound RDA of the same thing, just to sort of get the functionality and see if we will like it and if it is worth buying the authentic. Which I will be buying the authentic because I absolutely love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. Vaping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. No, I actually really do like this um, RDA. Like, it's so easy to build on. It looks great. The only thing I'd say about it is the trip tip is way too big. The tip's just way too big, people. Get when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we do have every intentions of getting authentic pro well we have plenty of authentic products, but we have it, um, every intentions of all the clones we have getting the authentic version. But yeah, so that concludes today's review. <laughs> uh, we hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the wee notification button. We're going to try and put out as many um, reviews as possible, but we are going for quality, not quantity, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how far we get with this. Quality? Would you call this quality? Not, not quite yet, but, you know. Videos will get better in time, we promise. Kind of. Bye.